Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to a very hot and sweaty map cave. Sniper Elite VR on Oculus Quest is a genuine masterpiece and I'm going to tell you why. So let's get straight into it then and remember, we're born to respawn. I have already reviewed Sniper Elite VR here, but today I'm specifically talking about the Oculus Quest 2 version. So, have you ever seen Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa? No? I have, and you know what I thought? It's really small and perfectly formed. Do you see where I'm getting at? No? Well, let's rewind a bit and I'll tell you what Sniper Elite VR is and why you, as a Quest owner, should be excited. Sniper Elite is a long-running game franchise, but this is its first foray into virtual reality. I have been excited about this game for what seems like years, and all the social media, teasers and dev blogs coming out of Rebellion were very positive. The excitement was building. But the same could have been said about Respawn's absolutely dire reboot of the Medal of Honor franchise, so it was with some trepidation when the release date was announced and the tension built as the day approached. So how do I feel when I actually got my hands on the game? Relief? Definitely. Why? Because they nailed the sniping. The game is called Sniper Elite VR, and if they had got any part of the sniping wrong, the game would have fallen flat on its face. So let's get this out of the way then. The sniping is the best interpretation thus far in VR, from the heavily assisted novice difficulty to the hardcore no assist mercenary difficulty. Rebellion have covered all the skill bases there. The scopes are clear and detailed and the brutal X-ray kill cam never ever gets old. Sniping Nazis in the testicles is my new favourite hobby. So I want to ignore the unfairly harsh upload VR review of Sniper Elite VR. They gave it an average 5 out of 10, which is pretty unbelievable. They also gave Medal of Honor above and beyond a 5 and that game is absolute trash. This is why Sniper Elite is one of the best games on Oculus Quest 2. It is exactly the same game as the PC version. Remember my Mona Lisa analogy? Small but perfectly formed. Rebellion have managed to cram the full PC experience into just under 4 gigabytes with hardly any compromises. See much difference there? Believe me, once you start playing, you won't. The levels in-game range from the shooting gallery-like help from above level to the brutal Catania naval base headshot paradise with its sublime, silenced Delisle carbine, which is arguably the best gun in the game. You know what? Let's not argue about it. It is the best gun in the game. The game is fully formed, technically intact, well thought out and varied in its missions. Nearly every mission can be stealthed, done guns blazing, or a nice combo of both, with a raft of collectible items, rifles, SMGs, and pistols, which once unlocked can be taken back into previous levels to give almost infinite replayability. I had great fun going back to one of my fave missions, beheading the snake, and taking the Delisle carbine, and just massacring the enemy forces with silenced headshot after brutal silenced headshot. So much fun. As you can tell, I'm a massive fan of this game, and I'm an even bigger fan of the Oculus Quest 2 version. Thank you, Rebellion. Thank you from the butt stock of my Delisle Carbine. This is a game that every Quest 2 user needs in their library. Have you played Sniper Elite VR? Do you agree with me that this is one of the best games on the platform? Or do you have a contrary position? You know the drill. Get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this content, please hit that like button. The algorithm loves the likes and maybe do all the other things popping up around me now. You can also support the channel on PayPal or Patreon or by going to my shop on tshirtstudio.com and purchasing some of my stylish merchandise. My best chum Surgical has launched his own YouTube channel, so go check it out in the link in the description below. I also stream once a week, so keep an eye on the community page on my channel 
for times and dates. I'll leave the gameplay running in the background without me waffling on, so you can enjoy the sublime lethality of that lovely Delisle Carbine. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side. We knew the Germans had positioned naval cannons along the coast, but now we knew how to use them. If we could capture one, perhaps we could turn it against the German defenses.